Well, don't mind me. I'm just playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, off of my Super Retrocade. Off of my Super Retrocade. And I'm going to show you how I'm doing this and how you can load up a lot more ROMs than just this, too. Check it out. Well, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, and thank you for watching. In fact, if you like video games and technology and tutorials on how you can get games and stuff working the way you need it to work, you got to hit that subscribe button, would you? I'd really appreciate it. Not too long ago, I showed off this guy, the Super Retrocade. Over 90 games, half of them are arcade games, so that's completely awesome in and of itself. Already, to me, right there, worth the 60 bucks. And it's also loaded with like Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games. There's even a Genesis game on here, too. But with that SD card slot in the back, the question keeps popping up. Well, can you put more games on there? Can you put more games on there? And the answer is, like, you're not supposed to, right? Like, it wasn't made for that. But there is a way to do it. And I figure if you're going to figure out sooner or later how to do it anyway, and other channels and other news publications are going to pop up saying, hey, here's how to do the thing, let me be the one to let you know how to do it, all right? You're going to figure it out sooner or later anyway. I mean, this thing is already worth it alone without having to do all that. However, I know you. Yeah, it, Here's how to do it. And how to do it? The easiest way to do it. Easier than hacking the Nintendo Classic Edition. Easier than letter bombing the Wii. Easier than the PSP hack. Check this out, seriously. So once you insert your SD card, title a folder Retrobit Games. Retrobit spelled all in one word. Space Games. That's it. That's all you gotta do. In the default of the SD card, folder called Retrobit Games, you put your ROMs in there, and then you place that SD card into your Super Retrocade, and it'll load up. Now, if you're using MAME ROMs that you've illegally obtained yourself, of course you have, I believe you, uh, keep them zipped up. I have a bag man right here. Take that. Whoa, 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 not all of them. Just one. Just this one. Just bag man. Put it right there. Zipped up already. Okay, that's it. And um, I have some other ROMs on here too for other systems, and let's go check them out. Once your system's loaded up on this screen, put in your SD card. It's a local storage or SD card. Well, select SD card. Click. Push the A button. And here you see some various games for various systems. Yeah, there's that. This is obviously a hack, but this is from a Nintendo ROM. And it plays Nintendo games just like it would, just like the other Nintendo games on here too. Still with a screen stretch, you have to go back in there and you know select it. So you want to, you know, make sure you're playing it at the resolution you wish. To back out of games, same way as before. Now, some Super Nintendo games may be a little too buff for a system like this. So this game, as you can see, is pretty much unplayable on something like this. However, a game like Terra Enigma actually plays pretty well. Finally gives you a chance to play Terra Enigma that we never got here in America. Not surprising, Genesis games look amazing. I'm always down for this game. Game Boy Advance here, mm, it could be better. It's not ridiculous, but maybe go through some Game Boy Advance games and see which games work best for you. This wasn't so bad, but it was still enough for me to kind of go, eh, I'd rather just play it off of the Game Boy Advance. And especially with Game Boy, you can really tell the really soft-sided um, graphics of this. So it's not going to make it like a super sharp definition, but, you know, still playable. And, you know, 100% compared to the Game Boy version, in my book anyway. So it gives you a chance to play some of these great Game Boy games up close. Enter two coins, select, select. There we go. Yeah, arcade games on this? This is where it really shines. I mean, look at this. And hey, this thing's endorsed by Capcom, so, uh, you know, well, you're hurting, right? And this will be another one of those situations where you really do want to uh, set up your controller ahead of time, find out what control scheme works best for you. This game, man, it's looking pretty good to me. I don't know, what do you think? You wanna play WrestleFest at home? No problem there. You know, I've always lamented that we didn't have a home port of Willow for the arcade game, but hey, with this, you can play Willow at home. Again, made by Capcom. 
<laughs> right? That's gotta be okay for something, right? <laughs> now this, uh, I wanna see the old aspect ratio. It's the same as before. Select original size. There we go. You see Tim Kaiser in my streams often. We were talking about this game just a little bit ago. What a fun game this is. And tried loading Tekken 2. It looks like Tekken 2 didn't want to load up either. And then also, oddly missing from this list, I loaded a few Master System games, Game Gear games, and those ones aren't showing up whatsoever. Same with the Nintendo 64 game I tried loading. But that's okay. Again, arcade games, man, that's, that's again, where this system really shines. Well, and there you have it. It's not really a hack. It's just loading the ROMs onto a folder and putting the SD card slot in that. Now, in doing this, you are taking complete risk and responsibility for your own system. If it heats up, if it smokes, if it blows up, it's probably not going to. However, if it crashes on you, that's your fault. All right, so keep that in mind. If you load this thing up and something happens to it and it stops working altogether, that's on you. So use it at your own risk. You know, as many games as this thing does have, there are a lot of other great arcade games that are out there. So what are some other great arcade games I should look out for? I'm always looking for new games to play. Let me know in the comments, and I thank you for watching. We'll see ya.